So now I'm going to teach you how to do the Cardini change. Now to do the Cardini change, you need to know how to do a double lift. Uh, you do the soft double, you do whatever one you want. But this is basically what's happening. This hand is doing this. The, the pinky and the ring finger are pulling this card down. That's the uh, movement there. And this hand is in the way. And if you add the flick at the same time, it kind of adds to the effect. These fingers are just pulling it down. Very easy. Not, nothing much to it. Mostly the pinky is the one that's doing all the work here. This finger, the ring finger is kind of doing something. There are some problems that I see a lot of people doing with the Cardini change. And that's this. The, do you hear that? Yeah, that, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, to get rid of that, there's a couple things that you could do. Every other tutorial on YouTube, they're gonna tell you apply pressure with the thumb so that whenever you pull down the card, only one card moves out of the way. And yes, that's true. That's what causes that noise, right? So to eliminate that noise, what is going to happen is you're going to get a thumb break under the top card, right? So you could do that by doing a thumb count and then catch that break. Or you could just riffle up the front, catch that break, right? Boom, catch the break. But either way, you are going to need to get a break under the top card with your thumb. Now this is going to help make it silent. If it's just resting on your thumb, there's no tension that's going to cause it to make it make noise, right? So if the five of hearts is just resting on top of the thumb, and then you pull it down, it makes no noise. So, I mean like, try it. Just, just place another card on top of the thumb and have this little break here and then do the card you change and you'll see that it's way quieter. It helps so much with the noise. There is a cleanup. Once you're in this position of the change and, and you're like this and your hand's covering, what's gonna happen is that this hand is going to grab the deck and then the bottom fingers are going to just pull that card under and square everything up. Now, another problem that I used to have a lot with the Cardini change was I'd do it and then I'd go to square everything up on the bottom and I would do something like this, right? And I'd get that, that as if I'm placing a card under there. So the way to get around that is after I catch my break under the top card, I do the change and then I leave my thumb on the bottom of the edge here. And then the change is done. And that helps hide the fact you're placing a card on the bottom and you won't get this out jog that's, that's ugly. You do your double, you do a thumb count, you do the change, you place it on the bottom and you square everything up, all right? Do it until you're satisfied and you're like, that's perfect for me.